Well, the uh, pulling of honey has started, or harvesting of honey, and uh, it's looking like a decent year. Looking like a really decent year, good flow. Uh, the blackberry flow is still on, it's starting to taper off, but just the way that uh, we do it, I like pulling the honey just a little bit before the flow, just when the flow is starting to taper off. Um, a couple of reasons for that. First thing, bees aren't robbing, they're easier to work with, it's easier to pull the honey. The second thing is that uh, I have no problem with uh, the bees taking the last part of the flow and putting it in the brood chambers, or two deeps, for winter. Um, nutritionally, I can't help but think and you know this is conjecture I guess but I can't help but think it doesn't hurt <laughs> for them to have the nutritional diversity of having foraged honey in their brood nest and not just exclusively HFCS 55 which will still feed for the lighter hives but uh, kind of that whole diversified diet thing um, don't mind me I'm it's hard work it's hard work and uh, but we're in I'm enjoying it we're all enjoying it uh, the guys actually offered they said you sure we you don't want us to help you out there and and I uh, we've got a lot of different things going on they've, they've uh, are busy today setting up the extracting room and we've got just several other projects going on a building project and, and what have you so I think kind of the hard head and stubborn part of me was like I can still do this by myself too which I've enjoyed it but it's 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 hard work uh, anyways we'll show you or I'll show you here in just a little bit a uh, very simple process we used fume boards and used Bego which if you've ever used Bego it's <laughs> that stuff smells horrible uh, it actually doesn't smell too bad at first but uh, if you get it on yourself or whatever else, uh, you usually have to explain to friends and family that no, you haven't stopped bathing. Uh, it's just Bego. So it, it kind of gives you an idea of the smell of it uh, as the day lingers. So, <laughs> but anyways, we'll uh, we'll show you what we're doing here. Just a All right. So here's our fume boards. They're the solar ones that you can buy, and we, these are flipped upside down, obviously, with the uh, fabric facing up. And we just put our Bego in a little squeeze bottle. And you, you only have to do this about every two yards. Uh, we run 40 hives a yard, and you're just uh, sprinkling it, sprinkling it on the boards. And then between yards, uh, if you close these up together, uh, usually, usually it'll stay potent enough that, uh, you don't mind my, whoops, my videography here, but while you're uh, between yards, uh, that, those boxes were the pull from the last yard, which, you know, in our area, I don't know how many, what's there, 20, uh, what's that, 15, 15, 20, 30, about 33 supers, which, I mean, in our area, that's, that's great. And so, I'm gonna turn the camera off here so I can get this done, but uh, anyways, yeah, just over the, over the boxes, and uh, then we wait. And as you can see here, this was one yard that I featured in the video a little while ago. Uh, had a really good flow. Um, really happy with the the pull. This one and the one before it. Uh, yeah, no, very, very happy. Very happy with uh, the honey production that we're seeing. <laughs> it's another important thing to mention when using these solar boards. I mean, solar, duh. I mean, obviously, you need to have uh, nice sunny days for it which is one of the cons too in our area, <laughs> obviously if you're getting into later in the year and it's cloudy, but uh, you know how we offset these supers for ventilation and what have you. When you're using fume boards, you wanna make sure that you put all of the supers back to seal together so that the bees are driven down through the hive and empty the supers properly. So just a little tip there and uh, we will continue to wait now. It usually takes, like on a day like this, it's about 84, 85 degrees, sunny. Uh, we just put new juice on the pads there, so I would say probably within three or four minutes, uh, the bees will be out. Um, I don't know if you can hear on the film, but 
uh, you can already hear they're fanning pretty loudly and they're uh, they're on their way down down into the lower parts of the okay so I'll show you again uh, or actually for the first time what we uh, or what I do here what we do doesn't matter either one um, and that is after the board's been on for a few minutes just tip the box up and see if we see any bees which we don't and they're actually pretty well down in the this one too so we'll pull this box and uh, throw the lid back on this one and uh, yeah it's another box of honey taken